yellow ducky is and welcome to the demo for galactic care this is basically a hospital sim that you're running a building and running hospitals in the galaxy to take care of the universe saving the universe one patient at a time this is just oh my gosh i love it i love mixing genres and coming up with these things here's the thing guys i don't know if i talked about it that much but i used to love playing like hospital tycoon and and those sorts of things i play them in my off time still every once in a while i will play just at random and i just i love it it's so nice welcome to galactic care heel and i can't wait to get you settled in i'm cora orion ceo uh, technically anyway i actually spend most of my time tinkering with designs and tech it beats corporate negotiation i promise you i'm really excited to see how you take to the job i'll be right behind you director and good luck spinning alien head and keep in mind this is still an early demo but from what I saw it actually is pretty well set up um, Welcome to your very first hospital, Director. Our patients are dying to experience your services. So I'll pass you right over to Heal, an artificial person who's been helping me build Galacticare. He tends to be listening to all comms simultaneously, so I'm sure he'll call you in a jiffy. Talk to you soon, Director. Boshi Boshi, Director, and welcome. I shall be aiding your work in various ways over the course of what's sure to be a rich and fulfilling career. If you ever feel lost as we progress, you can review your objectives at the top right of your interface. Let's get this hospital up and running. Here comes a particularly fun section, a calibrating sensors and perspective. We'll be panning, rotating, and even zooming your camera. Both in and out, my dear. Thrilling stuff. Your objectives should be displayed now. If they're not, then everything is broken, and it may be simpler for you to resign. Look at us go, spinning around like a gyro. I feel vaguely ill. Now, there was something else I was supposed to be doing. Oh, yes. There's the hospital. Patients and preventing death, profit, and so on. Very well, then. To do healthcare, we will require both a reception desk and a diagnosis room. Let's first place a reception okay. desk. Gosh. I've highlighted the menu in which you will find said desk. It is so... Oh my gosh, I love it. It's just, it's so similar to... Wonderfully placed. Now all we need is a diagnosis room. Ms. Orion should be calling with the details momentarily. The diagnosis room is our patient's first step on the road to recovery. It's where we evaluate what's gone wrong with their meaty bodies. Also, tiny spinny drones come out of it, which is very cool and entirely necessary. <laughs> okay. With the room selected, you can now begin to place the blueprint. Choose a starting point, shape it to your desired oh footprint, gosh, and click build to confirm. It, it's... Ooh. 
wonderful. Uh, however, an empty room will not by itself facilitate the healthcare. We must first place a door and then the room's required objects. In the case of diagnosis, we need a desk and a display. Your construction display will show you simple, easy methods to improve your room's value. And you're already done. Oh, remarkable. That's the diagnosis room, Millie. Now we'll need a treatment room. Gora will be in touch with the juicy details. Skin! Ah, uh, everyone has it. Unless they have an exoskeleton, or nothing at all. The Skin Lab uses proprietary chemicals to coat our patients in a gentle foam, which strips off their outsides and rebuilds them from scratch. It's relatively painless. I use the Skin Lab instead of a shower sometimes. Oh, God. Okay. The Skin Lab. Sure. Excellent. We have our first rooms. More to come, I'm sure. And I think there's still something missing. As we're a healthcare organization, we will need some doctors. Pop open the recruitment menu on the left-hand bar and review your various candidates. And there they are, Director. You can see their name, species, and traits that are unique to them. We currently have old and human candidates, and are restricted to them for reasons which I can assure you are culturally sensitive. I'm certain you'll come to find the unique traits of the galaxy's different sapiens particularly helpful for your work. Choose a candidate when you're ready. Okay, treatment rooms. You can place that newly hired doctor wherever you like, and even directly in a room, which will assign it as their primary task. Excellent work. Your new staff will set about their tasks in your rooms, aiding our soon-to-be patients. Doctors gain experience as they work, and more experienced doctors are, as you'd imagine, better at things. Due to capitalism, staff require payment on a regular basis, so do be sure not to overhire and inflate your expenses. An excellent set of rooms and doctors, Director, that will surely excel at treating patients. You should be commended for your ambition. Speaking of which, your legally mandated commendation, known in human society as payment, is yours to claim. We are ready to open the hospital. Let's see if we can't get our patients back to their rent pods in one piece. Ready to begin? Not yet ready because I already know there's going to be need for things. And now you're ready, and away we go. Time to treat some of these poor fellows. Patients are arriving now, Director. They shall scuttle about our hospital and deposit their various detritus within its once sterile halls. Humans, we love them. They are us, sometimes. Not always, though. Humans <laughs> are a lot of things, and one of those things is that they're social beings. They'll improve our reputation whenever they complete treatments. Also, they've accidentally engineered a dystopia where corporations have become kingdoms, so that's great. Uh, sorry, that's a conversation for another time, I guess. <laughs>
The Ode are a curious bunch. Although they're all clones, they revere old age, competing with each other to see who can live in any one body the longest. Once they retired from their dreams of galactic empire, they developed an odd fascination with humanity. It began with crop circles and cow abductions, and ended up in appropriating the most problematic parts of 1950s Earth culture, surf rock and traditional gender roles. Oh, it appears we've received a patient with a shattered arm. Let's inspect them and see if we can't mend their appendage. I'm done for. Behold the patient panel. I've highlighted the condition track. This shows the patient's condition and the rooms they'll need to be treated in. This fellow's condition requires them to be reboned, and for that, we'll need a boning chamber. The boning chamber. A retrofitted mining machine which chomps fresh, minty new skeletons directly into our patients. An assistant engineer fitted the schematic with internal cameras for personal reasons. That'll teach me to poach star from Salazan. Anyway, that's all fixed, and it's mostly safe. Mostly. Okay, so we gotta build a boning chamber. And apparently more seating, because my gosh. You may find yourself running short on space in our initial hospital area. You can expand to other nearby areas by selecting them and paying a small fee. Uh, to whom, I'm, I'm not sure. Ah, the boning chamber. A fine room indeed. Best to ensure we have staff to operate it, of course. Well, now that we've got a few treatment rooms up and running, let's talk about keeping our staff and patients happy. Let's inspect one of our doctors to grasp the full extent of their needs. Isn't that bad? Although putting them in a boning room, I don't know what's that, what that's going to do. Director, uh, that is a room. Yes, yes it is. It is a room. Indeed. Well, that's a, a patient rather than a doctor. A fine effort, however.
another patient. Uh, I'm sure they're a delightful person, but yes, this isn't quite who we're looking for. Yes, let's just go ahead and select that one for you. Through this panel, we can see the various qualities and needs that define our doctor. This is their mood. A happy doctor will perform their job efficiently, whereas an unhappy doctor is more likely to make mistakes. If their mood gets too low, they may simply leave. You can see the various thoughts and feelings impacting their mood here. For example, witnessing the death of a patient may result in a degree of momentary sadness. Physical needs, like hunger and energy, are fulfilled by vending machines, staff lounges, toilets, and so on. By the looks of things, this individual needs to unwind in a staff lounge. To prevent our staff from descending into absolute madness, we'll want to build a staff lounge. We should also ensure we provide both staff and patients with places to sit, uh, something to eat, and toilets in which they may relieve themselves. This one's pretty straightforward. It's a staff lounge. Staff will go in there and lounge. There's a fire pit and everything. We considered a mindfulness cube, but people found the idea nightmarish, so they get this instead. I don't get it. I love the cube. I'll go in there sometimes just to scream at the walls. <laughs> Great de-stressor. Sure it is. The de-stressor.
the required facilities have been installed and the number of organics who have relieved themselves in the hospital has slipped under the bar for legal concern. Bravo, Director. You have provided everything organics need for a state of mild comfort. the plants because the plants seem to uh director it's time to meet your marginally useful maintenance crew this is a medibot they've been purchased at low cost and reprogrammed to clean up various forms of vomit hmm. additionally they can repair the rooms in our hospital should the need for such repairs arise uh, the robot is waving many are you waving are you waving your awful little hands? Apologies, <laughs> Director. Uh, Many wishes to speak to you. Uh, not to worry. I doubt it has much to say. Hello, new Director. It's me, Betty. Heel says I'm a toaster and that I might actually be useful if I was dropped in someone's bathtub. What? Uh, uh, yes, uh, that comment is slightly off out of context, Director. But you may rest assured that Maddie has no clue what's going on and will execute its janitorial functions to a consistent standard. That's right. Also, he'll keep saying I'm a fake boy and being programmed to imitate humanity is a disgrace. He's my best friend. Betty, you don't have any friends because you're not real. Of course I do, because you're my friend. And so is this giant creature who's about to eat the station. Wait, what? Good Lord, what is that? Hello there. I think it's okay, Heel. It's just a really big alien. First of all, Maddie, it's a colossal. Secondly, please refrain from use of the term alien in reference to non-human sapiens. Director, the alien is somehow hailing us, though not on any identifiable frequency. It's almost as though it's directly pushing buttons inside the station's systems. And in the absence of any better ideas, perhaps it's best to uh, pick up the phone. Electronic and eukaryotic persons of Galactica. I am Bazanorothorgoria. Baz is also fine in the interests of brevity. I developed these painful glowing spots about oh, 4,000 years ago. I wondered if you could come and have a look at me. Well, this is exciting. I mean, just look at the size of him. And he's talking to us? That certainly hasn't happened before. My inner biologist is dreaming to learn whatever we can about him. So I'd like to help out. We should dispatch a shuttle to take a biopsy. Open the away mission panel that I've highlighted. You'll get updates to away mission status there. And it's also what you'll use to dispatch shuttles. And it's away. Our shuttle will go collect the sample from Baz. Won't be a problem. It should feel like scratching an itch. Ooh, ooh, that feels nice. A bit like scratching an old itch. Told ya. The shuttle just returned with the sample we took. It'll now be unloaded from the shuttle in a canister. AI-driven medical devices, which behave much like patients do. We'll need to send it to diagnosis to figure out our next steps. The canister should be with you now. 
If you ever need an update on them or on the task you're on, you can always open the objectives window. Director, the Wombat canister to make it through its diagnosis as quickly as possible. Fortunately, you can set it as a priority. Tap the priority button here to make sure the canister is sorted as rapidly as we can. Here we can see the status of our current away mission and any steps required to fulfill it. Prioritizing a patient in this manner will place it at the front of any queue at joins. You should use this for, well, anything you like, really, but emergencies in particular. Having a look at the data, this doesn't seem so different from other skin conditions, so our usual treatment should work. Now it's time for canisters to go in the other direction. We're gonna fill them up with chemicals in the skin lab and then shove them into a shuttle. You can track the progress of all canisters in your hospital by reviewing the away mission panel. Time and quality are of the essence. Fingers crossed this actually works, or we might all be going to jail. Yes, Mary. Uh, those are vomit tongues. They'll bite any sapiens they encounter, causing their victim to evacuate their guts directly onto the floor. Director, Mary is perfectly capable of dispatching these vomit tongues himself, but if you fancy it, you can use these station's coils to eject the pests from our mortal coil. <laughs> just, uh, just a little uh, death-based pun for your private enjoyment.
creature floating around in here. Should I zap it? That's a Solark. Uh, Director, these critters are entirely harmless, and will deposit a large number of credits into our account when you catch them. That's why they can open accounts of their own. I'm... The banking sector is a disaster. The treatment canisters are all prepared. Now we just need to deliver them. The team's departed on their mission. Hopefully Baz doesn't explode or anything. That would be kind of bad if Baz exploded. team has returned and our boy is already looking way better let's check in on him thank you it felt like there was something different about you there's the proof that was itching for a hot minute before I go I collect trinkets things traded or earned I find these exchanges build interesting bonds between cultures. Have some of this stabilizing solution as thanks. I'll see you again soon. <laughs> it's always a pleasure to make interesting friends. Well, we just treated a giant talking space whale. Great first day on the job, Director. I'm gonna hold my breath until my heart rate comes down. Director, the stabilizing solution Baz gave us has remarkable properties. It'll fully replenish the health of any patients you use it on. Rather handy if there are specific people you'd rather didn't, uh, uh die. Oh, that's nice. Our goal is to provide the best possible healthcare service, and we're constantly evaluated by a system known as hospital rating. Open the hospital rating panel now, and let's have a browse. Welcome to the hospital rating screen. Here, we can review everything that's wrong with your hospital. 
not to worry. Should it be terribly deficient, there are plenty of pro tips to explore in these various tabs. On this summary screen, we can review any common thoughts and complaints, as well as admire the potential rewards you can earn. Hello again, Galactica. I thought I'd pop back in and offer you some of my wares as thanks for what you did earlier. In exchange for some of your credits, I'll give you one of these fine items. There's always a freebie. And today, I've also got a Medibot. Picked him up out in space a while ago. He was just spinning, really. Purchase an item and I'll transport it over to your inventory. An item we've acquired from our large new friend is a room upgrade. Place it in a room and witness its powerful effects. Good choice. Love. You lot, take care of yourselves. Help me. Where's all my staff? Ah, one of our doctors has leveled up. Let's take a closer look. Select them when you're ready. Level 1 doctors will start out as trainees, and upon reaching level 2, you're able to assign them an expertise, which will allow... Here's a fine choice. Try to assign experts to the relevant rooms. It'll help keep your patients alive and your workforce content. Here, you can see the options for this doctor's expertise, which are based on the rooms they've worked in while in your hospital. Choose one to continue. Director, something we haven't yet covered is Medibot modes. Hey, that's me! Yes, it is, Medi. Well done. Uh, Director, select a Medibot to continue. see the configuration of this Medibot. Adjusting this will focus them on specific tasks. You can also use this window to change the appearance of your Medibots in the event that you share that particular fascination with our previous director. Oh my God. And with that, we've completed our orientation protocol. Excellent work. <laughs> Director, we're receiving a call from Dorian Salazar, the CEO of Salazon. This is Dorian Salazar, CEO. 
With which space creature am I speaking? Mr. Salazar, oh my God. a very fine day to you, sir. You're through to the director's office. If you're a, a robot, well, that's a daring hire. Listen well, computer boy, to my terrible problems. Oh my my God, workers were performing points. an orbital trash discharge, and in a totally unforeseeable disaster, they were coated in unknown sludges. After they'd completed their assigned shifts, an intern noticed that their bodies uh, had warped into some manner of transparent slime. Here, then, uh, is my offer to your fine company. If you're able to keep some of my I'm workers really alive for their shifts tomorrow, I'll uh, send you some space money. Of course. We'll send over a contract, and then we can... No, that won't be necessary. Good luck to you, and goodbye. Hello. Well, that's... that's delightful. Uh, Director, it sounds like we're in for an influx of emergency patients. Director, the emergency patients from Saladon are now arriving, and they're in a wretched state. We'll be lucky if most of them don't drop dead in the corridor. Hi. Let's save as many as we can. Be sure to prioritize them so they're seen Hi. to as quickly as possible. And I think now's the time to use that stabilizing Hello. solution we received from Baz. to use it. It won't let me use them. Okay, then. Let's play. In fact, let's fast forward. Oh my gosh, that seriously is not even, like, fast forward. It's barely moving faster than anything. Maybe it's just buggy. I hope it's just buggy.
human. Rest in peace to that plucky fellow. I pretend to be angry about the excruciating death, but I think we all knew it was on the cards. This is Dorian Salazar, expressing some legally mandated gratitude that you managed to save one of those workers. Their colleagues appreciate you. Keep it up and so on. Three of those workers have now informed us that they'll be ready for work in two hours. Rather better than expected, Galactic Airs. Saves us a good bit of time on ordering new interns. Not bad, Galactic Airs. We'll barely have to pay any compensation to their aggrieved relatives. Your dosh is in the tubes, along with a coupon for my preferred moustache oils. Space whales, rival corporations, eccentric robots. I hope you found all this educational, Director. You've passed with flying colors. I'm so pleased we got to you before Salazon did. <laughs> Welcome aboard. We're gonna do great things together. You can work on this hospital for as long as you like, but seeing as you were the right person for the job, I got us another contract about 15 minutes ago. It's for a music festival, and it sounds like it'll be a wild ride. I'll see you there whenever you're ready. And Director, great work. Oh my gosh, guys, this is literally Hospital Tycoon in space. I love it. This is amazing. I really do love it. It, it runs similarly, it acts similarly. The play is almost exact, and the demo apparently has multiple levels available. And that's awesome. Because it's not every day that a demo will uh, give you multiple levels to see. Now, I'm not going to go into the next level because I'm already getting up to an hour and I need to move on. But... I am definitely going to be returning to this in my personal time and just yeah this this is this is on my list I I I love it oh my gosh so <laughs> thank you all for watching please like comment share and subscribe don't forget to ring the bell icon to keep up to date on all the videos and remember to free the feral wildflower in you bye bye